from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. I'm Ben Davenport here at the Campus Weather Service looking to take out your weather for today. Um, hope everyone had a great happy Halloween last night. However, if we take a look outside today, it is November 1st and it is definitely not feeling like November 1st with those dew points crawling into the upper 50s and the temperature outside getting close to 60 degrees. So not necessarily what we expect for this time of year. As we take a look at uh, what, what could be the reasoning behind that, we do have some showers uh, off to our north and west, but we are getting some of that southerly flow, getting some of that moisture down from the Gulf, working its way into our region. And clouds are starting to build in though. Those will keep the temperatures down so they'll get they'll crawl up a little bit from what they are now but they will stay in those lower 60s and if we take a look at much of the state as you can see there are those showers to our north and west down to our south and east though sunnier and drier conditions as we take a look at the temperatures that is what the story is you can see that cool line is really to our north and west and definitely a temperature gradient from here 59 state college to 50 in dubois so you can see where it has been raining and it is cloudy that is where the temperatures have been kept down. But down to our south and uh, east, those temperatures are starting to warm up into those mid-60s. And definitely down as you get towards the Philly and the Allentown region, you can definitely see uh, getting into those middle 60s for your day today. And if we take a look here now at the rest of the country, you can really see those cool temperatures dipping down into the west and midwest associated with a big trough, bringing in a lot of that moisture and rain that we're gonna be start seeing in our area. As you take a look towards the east coast, Temperatures are warm down to the south and east, 77 in Tampa, 80 in Charleston, uh, and 61 in Boston. However, just to our north up in Buffalo, only 45. So those cooler temperatures are going to be coming soon. And we'll take a look at when those temperatures will start to come. But first, we'll take a look at the future weather. So if we take a look here is this evening, Thursday. Some showers start to work their way into the State College region. But most of the heavy precip based on our models is going to stay to our north and west. So that's good for us. And then if you take a look at the rest of the state, it's down to our south and east, most likely going to be staying mostly dry throughout your Thursday evening. However, those showers do work across the state. And the frontal system finally starts to progress through the region. And this is Friday morning, 4.30 actually. We do have a strong line of... Uh, storms coming through with those high temperatures and uh, those dew points you could see some severe weather associated with this keep an eye out for that and then as that rain moves forward the main uh, concern for rain is going to start to appear down into our south and east and if we take a look here as we move into Friday night you can start to see batches of more and heavy precip start to build into that Harrisburg that Allentown and that Philadelphia area um, if we move further, though, you can start to see Saturday in the morning, most of it is staying down to the south and east. But it's going to be fairly uh, cloudy uh, throughout much of the state. No real precipitation worries until later in the day on Saturday. And then if we take a look here at the rainfall outlook for um, here this coming weekend, Friday at 1030, you can see that most of the center part of the, the state, which is typical, stays dry. But to our north and west, you can see getting... Um, this is a computer model estimate getting over an inch of rain there so definitely wet to our north and west and then as we move forward in time you will start to see that the south and the southeast start to gain more of that precip while the north and northwest stays mainly dry you can see almost two inches down in philadelphia is estimated by saturday afternoon so definitely going to be a wet one there for them but to kind of summarize here is for today we're going to be looking at some few showers temperatures get into those middle 60s it is going to be feeling muggy and uh, wet out there so definitely bring a jacket with you and be prepared for that mugginess for tonight those showers persist temperatures uh, not really dipping down much only into those mid 50s and those showers will persist overnight as we saw and then get into your day tomorrow temperatures not going to be as warm but still going to get into those lower 60s with scattered showers around so be prepared have a rain jacket ready or an umbrella and then if we're going to summarize this in the seven day forecast here for you like we've been saying it's going to be muggy and warm thursday and friday but that front finally comes through and brings with it cooler and crisper dry conditions for your Saturday and Sunday. Remember to turn your clocks back as we move from Saturday to Sunday. And then for the rest of the week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you start to see a slight warm up Monday and Tuesday that is gonna be associated with another low pressure system that'll bring showers for us on Tuesday before Wednesday, it moves out and brings in drier conditions. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Ben Davenport, and that's been your Davin Report.